deep is your love? It was all a dream. Yo, what's up guys, here is Happy Now with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video and on this video I wanted to show you all my characters and to talk about each character profession what they counter and from what they get countered I start here with my Revenant by the way, for those people who don't know it uh, the classes are based on armor classes so Revenant, Warrior, Guardian have heavy armor for example uh, medium is thief engineer and 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 necromancer I guess no necro is light which one ranger yes ranger thief and ng are medium armor and light armor should be uh, elementalist 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 mesmer and necro yeah necro that's right nine professions night three different armor types just to show it to you here equipment we have it here heavy armor and we have medium and also light armor I start with the revenant because the revenant is uh, not so much played currently because of the current meta he's still pretty strong in my opinion but yeah people just don't like nerfs and yeah I don't know Revenant gets countered di the direct counter to the Revenant is currently the thief with the permanent blinds and interrupts when you play the meta build without stability you will get wrecked from any thief even though he might be bad but you will get wrecked only if you are really good you, you can wreck them but yeah otherwise avoid getting 1v1s against thief the next one is of course Condi Mesmer they counter almost everything because they are so strong we have not so much condi cleans we have on staff 4 condi cleans and on our elite skill that's 4 and that's all what we have and 4 condi cleans against condi bombs like mesmer is no way the third counter can be or should be the condi reaper because he can remove boons he has unblockable attacks he deals a lot of conditions and he, he has too much HP to just get get him down with normal DPS and the four condi cleans don't help us at all. Those three should be the direct counters and of course for example also Burn Guardian can wreck Revenants. Uh, even through you can block a lot of attacks from them because they have only burning but as I said Mesmer and Reaper can apply different conditions which is too painful to sustain against. You will need support to sustain against that. Uh, I'm gonna show you quickly here the build. You can pause it because the video will take otherwise too long. Those three, the build, you can just copy it. And let's go to the next one. What does the Revenant, by the way, favors against? Uh, should be what? Power Warrior. You can beat Power Warrior. You should be also able to beat Condi Warriors, but you have to avoid getting caught by their Condis. Normally they should counter you as well, but it depends on your survivability on how you use your blocks and skills. You can beat any other power build, I guess. You can also beat Dragon Hunters, even though it's difficult. They are not the real direct counter, but they have also the knockbacks and pulls, which is dangerous. Uh, power Necros, you, can, you should be able to beat them. Uh, any elementalist even through they have shocking aura and stuff like that but you should be able to beat them and I guess that's it you don't have really a lot of favors against the other professions but you have the high mobility which makes this class so good my second heavy armor class is the warrior which I'm gonna show you now uh, I'm playing the current meta built Condi Berserker which is also the strongest one here we go first to the build you can just stop it and copy it or yeah make the same out of it uh, in, currently on the current meta you can play the warrior on two types either DPS or condition before Heart of Thorns you had more options but currently on those two uh, the build that I play is the strongest because you can beat almost everything 
with good gameplay and you should be also able to take every 1v1 even through you not might win every 1v1 so this build here gets countered I guess only by uh, Dragon Hunter with good condi cleans with the, if they use contemplation of purity you should not 1v1 them uh, Dragon Hunter has a lot of condition removal which allows them to fight the Condi Berserker Warrior pretty easily because they get Aegis, they have blocks you just have to land your F1 and if you miss that you won't be able to get them down so this is the first counter the second counter is the Condi Mesmer but as I said only good ones because bad ones will get wrecked <laughs> uh, Condi Mesmer has the advantage of blocking a lot of attacks porting away with their staff, blinking away so a good Condi Mesmer will wreck you anyways because you won't be able to land your F1 attacks to get the Condi damage going on and yeah basically that's it those two are the counters to this build all the other professions should be having no chance you counter directly uh, the druids because they have like the signet where they remove every 10 seconds one conditions and celestial avatar to remove conditions once those two are gone the druid will get wrecked so at the beginning of the fight if the druid has no celestial avatar you will wreck them heavenly because you will apply six different conditions they can only use their signet once after that they won't have any condition cleans and you just wreck them until they before they get celestial avatar up uh, what do you counter as well with this build you will beat you should be able to beat every necro no matter if it's dps or condition but you have to be careful because of the corrupting boom can be pretty painful um, you can beat power warriors you can beat yeah any other class normally with this build so the counters I just said them there are only two counters the others should have no chance let's go to the next uh, I, should I go to my guardian yet yeah, let's go to the guardian I do all the three heavy classes first <laughs> guardian one of my favorites currently also pretty strong on 1v1 and pvp the downside of the guardian I should do down and pro sides but this will take too long so I just gonna randomly talk about the stuff this is my build that I use for me it's the strongest build even through the meta build has a little bit more mobility but yeah never mind my build relies on survivability condi cleans having a lot of sustain being powerful with single attacks and yeah what counters the dragon hunter number one of course the scrapper because he has tons of projectile reflection with his hammer 2 he reflects hammer 4 he will block um, he can create the bubble which reflects also attacks for 5 seconds or something or a little bit less uh, yeah he has permanent protection once you knock him back he has also permanent stability so you won't be really able to knock him away with your to pu pull him push him out of your trap so scrapper is pretty strong against dragon hunters and I had for example also 1v2 1v3s where I wrecked the dragon hunters they had no chance plus I was even able to stomp you have so many utilities to use against dragon hunters which is impossible to beat good scrappers but I was able to beat some of them <laughs> yeah the next counter should be because dragon hunter has not so many counters the elementalist which no one really thinks of but is no matter if it's dps or heal, healing support elementalist you should be beating dragon hunters because you can keep for example with dps you can keep the distance you can have permanent stability uh, pr wind uh, how to say it, projectile absorb projectile reflect so you should be able to beat them pretty easy and of course the heal of course the healing support elementalist has zero uh, how to say it uh, there is no way to beat a healing support elementalist with the guardian so on the other hand you can beat guardians if you are on a point when we wanting them and they don't run away you will beat them heavenly because elementalist deals good damage if you don't avoid it 
and on bowie ones you can take any dh without a problem so these are two the third one is the power warrior with the signet of course only without the signet you should be not having any chance but with the signet the point is if he brings your hp on the 50 percent hp and he uses his signet and greatsword f1 attack he will for sure wreck you hardcore if you don't use your elite skill which can happen pretty fast i also died to some of the power signet warriors because i was not watching them and it's so painful especially because you expect to block an attack and he has his signet up and he just wrecks you hardcore <laughs> These are the three counters I would say. The other counter could and should be normally, but it depends on your skill. The Druid. Druids currently also as supporter have a lot of healing. They can block, uh, avoid attacks with their sword and dagger. They can dodge three times. One, two, three. Yeah, three times with the dagger plus the two dodges plus with the staff three they can dodge staff five they can uh, absorb your projectiles and heal themselves up they can celestial avatar heal themselves pretty hardcore up they can use their uh, celestial avatar five to deal damage to slow you and the pets will deal awesome damage if you don't avoid it so druids should be also a counter but only good ones because bad ones you will wreck them with dragon hunter pretty hardcore <laughs> Let's go to the next. That was the three heavy classes. Uh, yeah, let's start with the uh, Necro. And now uh, maybe I know I, if I said it right with the medium and light armor. <laughs> I'm not so sure. He has light armor. Yes, I knew it. Good. Uh, to the build currently, I used I used my on my last videos still of Doom Hydromancy, Geomancy, Doom. Uh, the Condi Corruption Necro build, which is pretty strong, you have to keep the distance and you can just corrupt boons, apply heavy damage with your conditions and yeah, chill, uh, interrupt attacks, all of this kind of stuff. The Necromancer is kind of uh, hard to say which was which does he counter and which was not. In my for my example, he counters a little bit. Dragon Hunters, but only if you keep the distance, if not, you, you don't counter them. Because on distance you can apply your chill attacks and you don't have to walk into the traps. You can remove the boons and you can slowly wreck them. But it's not a really direct counter because good D8s will interrupt you, blind you, block attacks and so on and so on. Uh, yeah, he counters first of all the... Elementalist, currently only usable as support healer, you can remove every boon he gets, you can interrupt him once he tries to overload, you can apply huge condi bursts, if you get condi bombed yourself you can use your signet and transfer your conditions to the enemy and you can wreck Elementalist pretty hardcore. The second is the Druid, because Druids, it depends also by the way on your build, Druids have the problem that they have also not so much condi cleans uh, so if you condi bump them one two times they will be dead these are the two counters should be uh, what counters what you can kill what counters necro there are too many uh, now let's go to the counters yeah the counter from the necro should be number one the thief uh, especially because he can just blind you so mu so many times he blinds your elite skill for example if he blinds that your elite skill will do nothing which is pretty painful uh, he can dodge most of your attacks he can remove the chill which is the most important damage outputs uh, condition which you have uh, on every dodge you will remove it so that's not so good and he all of course can interrupt you a lot of times by the way necro here no, I already said it, let's just talk about the counters, not what you are in favor of, just the counters. Uh, what counters him as well? If you play the DPS one, you can beat Dragon Hunters, but with the Condi one, it's a little bit harder because they have Condi cleans and stuff like that. Uh, 
What you can beat as well is Scrapper, which is pretty important to know. Scrappers have blocks and stuff and counter removal and stuff, but once you corrupt their boons and condi bound them, they don't have so much condi cleans. They have like single condi cleans for one tool, but the rest will s stay there and that's pretty painful. So what counters the necro is uh, a lot of classes. Uh, I don't know if I could say Condi Mesmer. They can beat necros pretty good, but only skillful ones. Then of course Condi Warriors. Uh, the DPS ones could be also able to because they can remove a lot of condition, block and avoid attacks. So they should be also in their favor position. Dragon Hunters, Thief and that's it basically. The others are a little bit harder. Did I show the build? Yes. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this guy should be also light armor, mesmer, and then I do the elementalist, and then the medium armor classes. Yes, perfect. <laughs> the mesmer, one of the hardest and most difficult classes professions to learn, because they have those F1 to F5 attacks which are all different and need to be used with a little bit of timing and some game knowledge when to use them of course. Uh, I still love Mesmer a lot. I played him a lot before the update but after the update a little bit less because yeah it was just spamming shatters and not so skillful. You can see here the build what, which I'm running currently. Uh, yeah, what counters the Mesmer? Number one counter is the Dragon Hunter with the tons of Condi Cleans with the interrupts, blinds, pulls, uh, knockbacks, traps, and yeah, basically that's it. The second counter should be the Power Warrior with the Signet again because as a Mesmer you can't avoid the attacks if they use their Signet. You just have to run away and leave the fight. And the power warrior just can also remove conditions by hitting your clones so that's what makes him sustain your attacks a lot of times but he's not really a direct counter because you should be also able to wreck them uh, what's the next one I guess it's only dragon hunter which counters the mesmer <laughs> because he's so powerful he has healing he has condi cleans he has stuns confusion ble bleeding uh, burning every condition that you can apply interrupts which is yeah he has the MOA which can turn every 1v1 into a win if you use it right uh, double MOA by the way continuum split so he's really powerful and what can be the next counter to this I don't really know it could be it could be or it should be better said corruption condi necro I don't know if I mentioned that because you can use your unblockable attacks when you shield when the mesmer shields you can use your elite skill and interrupt that you can if you get condi bombed by the mesmer you can transfer the condi to the mesmer back and he has to shatter four or five times to remove them all or if he does not have the shatters he will get wrecked um, can be but i don't know a good mesmer can also beat necros because you can keep the distance block uh, dodge the unblockable attacks and it's yeah it's like I don't know it's hard to say difficult hmm what next I guess the staff thief should be in favor of the mesmer but it's also hard because if you just randomly s dodge dodging spam your dodges you won't be able to beat them you have to dodge when he shatters and uh, yeah you should be able to normally win as a staff thief but it's hard because yeah if you are not so good with staff if you won't be able to win they shatter too much and have skills to interrupt you to block to avoid damage uh, distortion and so on and so on yeah let's go to the next what he has only those two or three counters as I mentioned the direct counter is only the 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 the, the, the dragon hunter yeah some pro players use necro uh, mesmer just because they know they can counter most classes and they don't have the direct counters so a lot of them think they are really pro <laughs> by playing mesmer but that's not really true uh 
the elementalist as i said currently only has healer available this is my build of course you don't have to run the same build but i recommend always my build my builds because they're pretty strong uh, as the healer you won't be able to fight really a lot of players only as i said the you can fight thieves you can fight dragon hunters when we won and basically you can fight almost everyone when you want but you don't have to because you are the healer you don't you should not hold points what counters you the counters to this build should be thief but only good ones as i said because you can avoid getting interrupted by the thieves for example as i used on the trade ah i just used the wrong key if you use your overload you will get stability so the thief won't interrupt you and you can heal up yourself if you don't use the stability uh, trait you will get cracked by good thieves because they will just interrupt any overload you do uh, you avoid getting killed by a thief by using shocking aura your projectile absorb projectile reflect but it's hard if you miss or if you fail them you will get still wrecked uh, what counters this as well a good mesmer should be able to beat you even through he can also moa you and as i said also condi berserker reapers which will interrupt you when you overload which will remove your boons which will corrupt them yeah and deal heavy condition damage and once your hp is under uh, how much hp is 90 percent or something was it 90 percent 75 percent yeah i'm so bad once your hp is under 75 percent you won't have the auto condi cleans which is pretty painful and yeah if they catch you if you if they catch you with their elite stun you will get wrecked you have to immediately shadow uh, earth four and five to save your ass up and heal yourself up but yeah the problem is they will interrupt you a lot of times so these are the direct counters but as i said currently mesmer elementalist only as healer on the current meta so you don't have to talk a little about this you just have to heal your allies uh, which one i haven't showed the thief one of my favorites the thief is like a difficult class and i would say after the mesmer the hardest to master because you have to watch a lot of things once you play it i remove my outfit pretty fast because my thief looks so badass uh, to the build Deadly Arts, Trickery, Daredevil, Dagger Pistol and Shortbow. I guess this is also the current meta build. You can swap diff a lot of things if you wish to. So what counters the Thief? Of course the Dragon Hunter. <coughs> Number one I guess because he just can lay down traps and keep the... Uh, you have to get near him to deal damage and he can just yeah apply damage to you from a distance from close range and it's hard to fight them they have a lot of blocks blinds aegis uh, the traps do heavy damage to thieves you are really squishy against that and it's hard to beat them it's not impossible but it's pretty hard because they have a lot of healing and those blocks make it also pretty hard sometimes when you try to stun them and they just pop up aegis randomly and you just get mad because man so close one hit and she should be dead but yeah the next thing with counters this is uh, I would say the Condi Mesmer again but this is also just randomly you can avoid get it to die on a 1v1 against any profession but you won't be able to win on most of them Condi Mesmer is for example one of them because they have their blocks they have their uh, dodges, distortion, blink. Uh, even through, even they can use portal to portal away. But what makes Condi Mesmer so strong? They have those three to four Condis at once. With one shatter, they apply three to four Condis, and you don't have so much Condi removal. You have to dodge all of them, but you are not able to because the clones randomly shatter, not all at the same time, which is painful. And yeah, the Dragon Hunter, the Condi Mesmer, and the Condi Berserker Warrior, I will say. It depends on your skill if you can blind pretty good and avoid Berserker stance. You should be able to beat them, but it's hard, a hard task because they have also blocks, reflex, 
which is also pretty painful to fight as a thief. Those three are the counter direct counters, I would say. Then you have classes that you are not able to beat 1v1. For example, a good scrapper, he can reflect, he has permanent stability, he has high healing, you won't be able to beat them, and you should not. With a thief, especially, you should never do 1v1s, because it's just a time waste. Only if you know you can beat the classes pretty fast. Uh, yeah, these are the counters, I would say. And, yeah, there's nothing else to say. My thief looks awesome, by the way. <laughs> uh, the Revenant, the Scrapper and the Druid are left. Scrapper was once my favorite class, because he was so cool. After the update, he got the hammer, he got the gyros, he got team support, high damage, and so on and so on. Uh, I don't see him currently played so much, I don't know why, maybe because people just don't know how to play it right. But Scrapper is still a good option to go if you don't have a supporter and if you don't like Druid and Elementalist. <laughs> this is my Azura, uh, no, is it Azura? Yeah, Azura, little Azura, uh, how to say it? Engineer, yeah, <laughs> which looks pretty awesome. To the Engineer. He gets countered number one by Berserker Condi Warrior <coughs> because they can apply so many conditions and you have like here two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, I guess, eight Condi Cleans, nine. But the problem is one Condi Cleans, two, two, and you don't have so many else. You have like those single Condi Cleanses, which is not so strong against multiple Condi Bombs. And the Berserker Warrior with F1 attack, he applies four different conditions and you will have to remove only two of them. And if you remove the wrong ones, you get wrecked. <laughs> the next counter is Reaper. I guess no matter if it's DPS or Condi, but I guess only more Condi because DPS you have protection, which he has to corrupt the every time. Uh, but both should be in favor of the Scrapper because they have unblockable attacks. Uh, tons of Condi bombs, which is pretty annoying, and the chill kills most. Even through you have a little bit reduced chill duration, but they are your counter. Uh, can I say Mesmer? I don't know. Mesmer should be able to beat Druid uh, Scrappers, but you can avoid Mesmer's because they have their shatters, you just block them, you can rocket charge them, you can interrupt them and stuff like that. So Mesmer's, I don't know, Mesmer's can beat them, but it's not so the thing. And those are the counters, I guess. Scrapper has not so many counters. Three, like, yeah, three. But if you are a good Scrapper, you should be able to sustain every one of them on 1v1s. Or against multiple targets, it's harder, because if you get Condi Bones from two, three enemies, you will get cracked. You have not so much Condi Cleans. <laughs> you just have to avoid getting caught by them. The good thing is Scrapper has good damage output and good team support, which makes Scrapper such a good choice for everyone. Uh, that's about the Scrapper. I told you about the counters. And the last one, my Druid, which looks pretty awesome. Not a lot of you like him, but I, I love the mustache. Looks so epic. I just have a mask on. Remove the mask. Remove the mask. Show your mustache. Yeah. The color is not so cool but the mustache is awesome uh, the third medium armor class staff sigil of air sigil of blood sigil of energy sigil of bleaching rune of the doliac mender's amulet this is the current meta build uh, the number one counter or the two number one counters are condi mesmer and condi berserker warrior because they just wreck you hardcore. I wreck druids with my berserker warrior within 5 seconds if they don't avoid my dodge, my stuns they are wrecked so hardcore within 5 to 10 seconds because they won't get celestial avatar up during that and if they don't have it up I just wreck them hardcore. <laughs> uh, those are the number 1 counters then of course necros but necros have those um, how to say, you can avoid getting caught by them, your pet can stun them, you can use your stability to avoid unblockable attacks, you have so many dodges. 
but it's also hard because if they catch you with the signet and five different conditions you are wrecked which is also hard so they are also kind of a counter and that should be it those three even to even through you can counter also burn guardian but burn guardians are not so strong you can avoid most of the burning you don't have to you waste your signet so fast because they have only single damage output only burning which will be removed pretty often with the signet and yeah i guess those three are the counters druid has not so many counters because he has survivability he can sustain every 1v1 almost for freaking long once you have celestial avatar he can even take 1v1s against Hundi Berserker Wars, even though it's not in his favor, he has to dodge the F1 attacks, otherwise he will get wrecked. And yeah, basically that's it guys, I hope you all enjoyed it, I hope you all liked my classes, professions, how they look. All of them are level 80, and if you want to level them up fast, you have to do just PvP and collect to tomes of knowledge, if I said it right. With those you can just use them to rank up every class you like to, to level 80 without leveling them, without discovering the maps and stuff like that. You just can use them and have every character on level 80. Because I did the same, uh, only 4 of my or 5 of them were uh, leveled to 80 without tons of knowledge. The others all got leveled up like that and I still have like 500 or even more of them on my bank account and I can level up almost any profession I like now <laughs> to level 80 <laughs> yeah now as always you will see here around my character three of my other videos which you can like uh, which you can watch if you like to because you will see there the gameplay of these classes that I just showed and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like to only, if not, don't do it. And yeah, that was Happy No. Thanks all for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about your counters, even though I haven't talked so much, but the video will have taken too long. And maybe I will do a single video about the classes, which what they counter and what to counter you. And so on and so on. Yeah, that was Happy No. Thanks all for watching. Bye bye, guys.